Welcome to Trading Lounge in the US stocks for the 9th of September. So this we're looking at uh, Hewlett Packard uh, here on the daily chart and we've had down into the COVID uh, correction. We're looking at wave one here and wave two here and then wave one and two and I've got wave one and two sitting over here, but it could also be over here, it would make things a uh, little bit uh, different. Uh, but look, at the end of the day, and then from here, we can count one, two, three, four, five pretty easily in wave four here. So uh, this could also drop a bit lower here to the wave four of one lesser degree. So I should move that down here. But uh, the, to be honest, I'm not that uh, fussed about it just yet because we would need for a long trade here we would need to see this market sitting on support at the $20 which is a major trading level so if we look at this here pattern as the $20 across here we'd want the arrival which we're looking at now and the reaction which we're looking at now and we haven't got the first high above the level yet so we still need all of this over the other side over here to get our timing right so we're not there yet with this so um, we can pretty much sort of move on um, but you know if it's going to set up as a long trade then and take the tops out here and continue to the upside then um, yeah it's got to prove to us that it can have this the closest largest number of support because normally what we do is trade to this number get out and then wait for it to become the support on a classic trading levels pattern so it doesn't really matter at this stage where this one and two is here on this and this spike is just a data breach here so it's not part of that when you'll see that on the four hour chart uh, here so wave one and two here and then building it so I've got this wave two here so we'll continue to uh, to, to to view that and I'll be able to work that out later in the trend when I start to see waves fours and fives there but um, yeah we're not from here we've got one two three four five that's so all looking quite good but yeah we need I should need one more push up from that point uh, depends if we count that as one, two, three, four, five here, which looks a little bit odd. So, um, but either way, it's not set up yet. So anyway, that's uh, one of the stocks on our list, and uh, it's not ready to trade at this particular point in time. Let's move on. The next stock here is um, HubSpot, and in this case, I can count five waves to the upside here from one and two here and then all the way up with three four and then the last five wave structure in through here so look even if i had this wrong and we looked at this as the third wave because i i know that all the stocks that i've been looking at um they fall into two categories. One is that they've got wave three tops and the other one is that they've got wave five tops. So probably um, one is right and one is wrong. Now, uh, even if this was a, a wave four here, I would still need a wave four pulling back into this space. That would still take us down to roughly the wave four of one lesser degree or somewhere in, in through here for that. So that's probably where it will come but either way you know one of the things here is that this move down through here is impulsive so we'll see the corrective move and then we'll see another move down so one way or another we should still be coming down further with this stock do we call this this five ways up as as uh let's just grab this here um put this here as wave one here and this back is wave two here, or we can call it wave four. I don't think it really matters too much at this stage. Obviously, wave two would come much lower. So, and if the, if it was going to be wave four, if I've got the, if I've got the count wrong, we then we'll be down here somewhere with that. But let's just go to the four hour chart here for a moment. The point is is that once again we've arrived at the level here, and we're seeing the reaction from the level. So we normally trade to the level and get out right not that we're in this stock that we're just going through my for the first time the list of 130 uh, of all the sort of disruptive innovative uh, stocks um, so we're just getting a feel for them um, and we need to do I need to do a lot more work on them but uh, just this is the first scan over all of them 
I can see here that we've got one, two, three, four, five here. So we're, we're in a correction here that can go a little bit higher and then we'll move down. So there's two things here. First of all, this level here <clears throat> is support, the 250. So we'll keep an eye on that. And the second thing is that if it was going to be a wave three up here, it was going to come back for a wave four, well, then uh, it would come back between the wave four here and 38.2%, which will probably be a little bit higher. Let me just go back and double check on that. So that would be, it would probably be about there. I'll just, I don't think I've got the count wrong, but so that brings the 38.2% in, in at this point here. So um, look, it's just not that important at this at this stage. Uh, what, what, is, is, what is important to understand is that we have five waves down here. So we're getting a correction. We're going to have another five down. Now, if we just get the three waves down, then we'll look for a buying opportunity, um, you know, down when I get the right setup and things here. So we could use the, the 250, which is the medium level and so on and so on. Um, but if we get this as wave, uh, if we get this here, this is an impulse wave here. And then if this is a rally here, and let's just say that this is, normally this would be wave C, and it would be on a bit more of an angle over here for that. But if it moved down just as sharp as the first move down, and it moves like down here somewhere, then we know we've got a wave three, then we've got a then we've got a problem at that point because we could look at one and two and a quick third wave down, a fourth and a fifth. If that's the case, then we're going to get an ABC back up here and then another five down here. So we need to monitor this a little bit closely through here. And the... Uh, yeah, so we'll just we just got to play this out a bit here. We'll just we'll, we'll just relax because we're going through this on the S and P five hundred as well. Um, but if it is a wave two pullback, well, that's good because then we can start our portfolio uh, moves in on these. But one step at a time, one wave at a can, one wave at a time. So uh, back to the four hour chart for this, and um, yeah, just to recap here. We've had five waves down, one, two, three, four, five, pretty clear. We're looking for an ABC pattern in here. It may not pull back to the 50, 60% retracement level, but we should see another move down uh, onto this space here. Now, just to um, just so that you know here, <clears throat> normally the A wave moves down quite quickly. The B wave is what, what it is. The C wave here, if it's on an angle like this, then you'll know that we can buy on the 250 when it gets there or after five waves here. If the move down here is sharp, like this here, then we're likely got a third wave coming down and it means that we're gonna be coming lower from that point, all right? So the angle plays a big part in all of this. Okay, let's move on to the next stock. So this is a uh, Chinese stock and um, it's an eight, so it's an ADR on on the New York uh, uh, exchange, and um, it's 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 the leading game live streaming platform for for, for games. And uh, you may know, I mean, in the West we don't really consider gaming to be a, a big thing if if you're not really sort of into it. But uh, certainly in Asia, it's 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 like the football. It's it's huge. So this is. Um, a big stock in that in that regard. Now this count here is quite clear that we're actually in a third wave here and we're looking for an A and a B and a C for a fourth wave to pull back here uh, and then we'll go up for the fifth wave. So we could trade this up here, okay? Um, but we just need to wait because this wave four is not completed yet. This is still the first leg down and we need the ABC to come in here at minimum. So um, nothing to do here just yet for this stock, and I won't go to the four-hour chart. This is just the daily chart. The 38.2% retracement levels here, this is the wave four of one lesser degree. So it will just normally between those spaces that we'll look for. But the, the other thing here too, I guess we need to point, I will go to the, because of the 25 here. So on the four-hour chart, 
that's the three hour chart there's nothing on that four hour chart here so you can see that the the twenty dollars is a is a major level so i'll just put that a bit closer there and 30 is a major level and the 25 is a medium level so that's the next important point at that point so we can see that we're just getting a bit of a bounce off this but we still need to get we've got one two three four five we still need to see you know the correction and we still need to see the other move down we still need to get this wave c here before we do anything so we'll be paying close attention to the angle on this as well here so like i said some stocks i can count that have got five to the top and others that have got three to the top so we'll see um okay let's move to the next stop so um how much um, aerospace uh, stock here they supply um, parts to um, to to engines and uh, aerospace and defense and and so on but uh, I might have to take this stock off our list because it's just simply not performing um, but I, I had it on the list so I just wanted before I ditch it i wanted to uh, look at it but we'll just uh it's a stock that we could replace with another stock okay so we'll put it on on um on on that list um but as it goes so far here um it is it, it is doing all the right things in in displaying impulse waves to the upside but it's just not moving you know uh can it pick up speed and, and move along? Well, possibly, but we wouldn't really be interested in it unless it uh, found a nice support on top of uh, of the 20 here for this. And currently, the next le the levels between here is between the 15 and the 20 here. Well, 16, 50 um, and 18 we're coming into group two here. So it's just banging its head at 18 here, which we always call number eight a profit taking number, as you can see here and here. So always be aware of number eight <clears throat> when you're trading to the upside, the bids will be hit. So, um, but anyway, I'm gonna move on. So, but this is a stock that we could replace at, at a particular point in time. So you all know this particular stock. This is uh, Interactive Brokers and they, they're a good brokeraging service, as you may or may not know, and uh, they certainly opened a lot of accounts during the uh, COVID uh, situation, which is still ongoing. Now, the pattern here for this is that we could look at the move up from here as wave uh, one and two here, and then looking at it wave three here or wave one again, um, or we can look at it as an A and a B and a C wave here, <laughs> for this so i'm looking at it both ways so for us to trade this market we would need to see this top taken out here so that means we need to see here an a and a b and a c wave coming into play here and then we would need to see the support coming over here and we can get a lower position over here for this so it's not ready but but at some stage it will be ready um, and, and that's also the problem with stock trading as well. You know, there will be no trades and then suddenly there will be zillions of trades. Uh, so we need to be mindful of that and how we move in on that sort of thing as well. So I'll leave this at that. And uh, But it is becoming a nice setup at this particular level. We just need to allow it to unfold to a point that it suits our entry so intercontinental exchange um they are an american company that uh operates about 12 regulated exchange and marketplaces so uh big plays but you probably know ice anyway and um in this case here we've got uh looking for uh, a five wave move to the upside uh here for for this um so um it's just not set up yet so once again um you know we need to see uh we need to see moves coming into play and our setup will be over this side of the fence here at the first instance now obviously this can change but uh we would need to see at least at minimum a three wave move and then support back on 100 here but this could get a bit wilder through this space here um, but all in all it's 
it's performed really quite well when you think about it because this is the the um, you know the February COVID drop through here and it's trading above that so that to me is um, is good news and anyway these guys are a leader in exchanges so they're doing well the setup is not there yet for us though so uh, this particular company started in 1998 so it's not that old they specialize in genetic and um, and biological uh, functions. So this has been performing really well because this is the February high here where we've had the COVID correction and we're seeing this impulse to the upside. Now it's also possible with this too, um, some of this was a little bit scraggly in here when I was counting it. It's also possible that uh, this can be a wave four here as well at this point. So this is this one is in between that space. So, um, and this is the way four of one lesser degree here. So seeing this pull back as an A and a B and a C here uh, is fine. Now it's probably come down further because we know that other markets do, but what it does do is it gives us this high here that we can go long on. Okay, so we just, this is a four hour chart by the way. Um, just uh, put this in green here. So that gives us opportunity to go long above that point because that will confirm to me that that is in three waves because otherwise I mean I can see five waves here and uh, this is obviously a correction it's got overlapping wave structures and we could probably pull five waves out of here but I know this moved down in a lot of other instances is not finished so we could probably see it move down here further so even though we've got this here as a trigger to go long here we will probably get that at a we'll, obviously I'll get that at a better a better price down here but we'd need the right setup for that down here as well and that's just not there just yet for this um, if it pulls into the box well then this count is right um, and we could look for it as a wave two and we would need to get confirmation that we're getting an impulse wave to the upside here and then we'll buy the pullback at that point so it's not quite there just yet for that and that's all the stocks there that's um, about seven stocks I think uh, some of them are traded on the New York and some of the trade on on the NASI um, that's that's that so um, thanks for tuning in much appreciated cheers